<laughs> yeah, I know you touched on briefly in our hitting the scrape. Obviously, we all kind of did about bringing our ladies out and, and the anticipation of that. But fill us in on kind of how that goes for you. And is that something you do commonly or what have you? Yeah, I usually start out doing that with the season, trying to get them a turkey. So um, I don't take turkey hunting as serious as I do whitetail hunting. So I, I enjoy turkey hunting. I enjoy doing it with other people. And I would much rather or just be just excited to film or be with somebody that shoots a turkey than me shooting a turkey. So um, that's kind of how I take it. And what, I mean, whitetail season, especially with my job now, I'm during the fall, I'm never here. So this kind of makes up for that as well. So I try to take them out spend time outdoors with them and they enjoy it too so yeah and you're talking about your fiance and daughter right yep yep does that present any unique challenges that you don't otherwise face lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it's not um like me filming a buddy or calling for a buddy, they know what to do in certain situations. So I'm usually sitting right there with them, trying to tell them what to do, when to bring the gun up and so forth like that. Like this last opportunity we had, like this Tom was at 20 yards. I, I had him on film and everything and she didn't quite listen to me. She didn't have the gun in position. So by the time she got her gun up, he got spooked out so just stuff like that like little stuff that you learn from mistakes you know like she'll learn from that she's she hasn't been turkey hunting since well she just started when she was uh when we started dating so um so she's got some learning to do but she's tagged a few turkeys so nice but now, uh, did, did she hunt at all whitetail or anything before you met Whitetail, yeah, yeah, she whitetail hunts. Um, she's from up north and has property up there, so um, I don't let her hunt my lease. <laughs> 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 I used to have another piece of property that I used to let her hunt, but we ended up selling that. So, gotcha. Now she's uh, she's waiting for us to get married because she thinks that once we get married, that uh, that lease is going to be hers as well. <laughs> I think that's the way it works. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not on my book. <laughs> well, let me know how that works but, uh, out for you. <laughs> and I, I took Taylor out once and we actually called in a hen <laughs> and the hen came in at 15 yards and uh, dude, she does awesome. Taylor does awesome. Like that was our first run and gun hunt and she sat right up against a tree with her knees up had the gun rested she was ready for it and everything if that would have been a time that would have been textbook but it was a hen and she kind of up ended up just pecking at the ground there was gobblers behind her which i was really confused why they didn't come but it is what it is so yeah but yeah i see you coaching her on <clears throat> shooting from seated on facebook where you did you have yeah, that's, shot what that's what i was talking about i got her proning up against a tree now with her knees up because we used to just hunt from a blind but uh i'm more of a run and gun turkey hunter i don't really like hunting from a blind yeah so i'll uh in a midday I'd, i'll hunt the roost but a lot of the times i'll just head out at around nine o'clock and walk around the property and see if i can get one hell yeah smart man <laughs> smart man <clears throat> yeah yeah but no I, I i enjoy turkey hunting um i i don't go by myself um so i'm more of a family oriented turkey hunter trying to get them one before myself i've shot plenty so nice very cool man good work keeping them ladies into it and when you talk about taylor that's your daughter and how mm -hmm. old is she she's 11 she'll be 11. 12 she'll be 12 <laughs> in july cool so yep. awesome good she's deal man killed, she's killed the turkey as well too so nice and that was last year that was actually two years ago she shot wasn't yeah yep 
Well, congrats, Taylor. Get out there and get another one. She's pretty pumped. Uh, yeah. Good, one. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Good deal. Sticky. What about you, man? You gonna send it or save it on hunting with your significant other? Um, I'm gonna save it. Um, my wife accepts hunting. She's not that crazy about it. So I feel like whenever I tried to get her to go, I'm just kind of forcing her into something that she's really not gonna enjoy in the first place. I mean, she would if it went as planned and all that, but I feel like I'd have a hard time not taking it seriously, you know, kind of taking back to that teaching role. I think I'd have a tough time saying being patient and I feel like I can come across a little bit like an asshole sometimes. So I think, uh, <laughs> I think she would see that as me just kind of bullying her around. Hey, don't move. Hey, hold still. Hey, bring your gun up now. Um, and I think I would just be too impatient, you know, when it comes to that sort of thing. I think when you have a kid and you're bringing a kid up, it's a little bit different because I think a kid expects you to be that way with them as more of that coaching standpoint where a wife, I think it's a little bit more diff difficult to come across in a teaching way rather than a nagging way. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, just that's just my take on it. Um, if Jarrah wanted to go hunting, I would by all means take her with. I just at this point, I'm not going to ask her to go unless she shows interest. I'm all for taking her fishing. I love taking her fishing. I feel like that's not as serious to me. That's more, hey, let's just go. You know, we went perch fishing a couple times this spring, and she kept getting snags like every minute. And like, I must have retied 20 lines for her. And it's like, I don't care. Like, this is fishing. This isn't hunting. This is, we bring home a couple fish. That's awesome. You know, uh, turkey hunting or deer hunting. That's a lot different in my opinion. Um, and uh, I know my grandpa used to rant about this all the time when um he'd go to deer camp and a guy would bring his wife up there <laughs> it was like all hell would break loose because oh hey you know you can't come out in the living room you know with your boxers on before you go hunting or whatever there's a lady here my grandpa just wasn't having it he said keep the perfume out of the woods that was always his saying so <laughs> <laughs> i guess that's where i get it but <laughs> that's yeah. that's my take on it well, it's a good take, and I like it. Uh, it's interesting because obviously this is going to be a case by case basis, and one of the reasons I like the idea of covering this <clears throat> with this group is because you're we are all professionally involved. It's not like hunting is just a pastime or some you know. I mean, it's fun, obviously. Yeah, but it's all it's, just it's tough to separate that now. You know, it's you know, even to go hunting with a buddy and leave a camera at home to me is weird now. And that's that's different. That's I'd like to do that a lot more, but it's just it's hard leaving that aspect out of it at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You're used to every time you go out, you're trying to produce something polished. So I can't imagine the sort of anxiety that that brings to the table when you're bringing a new person out with you and being in that mindset. So that's a good perspective. Um, and I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Mansell, what about you? How are you feeling about taking the lady out with you? I'm going to send it. Um, my wife comes from a pretty strong hunting background. Uh, she has three sisters, uh, no brothers. So her dad, dad was a big, big hunter, um, brought all three of them up into hunting um, since they were 12 years old. Uh, so she's got a few few solid bucks on the wall as well um got her first turkey a couple of years ago uh and i i personally i enjoy it because it's you know when i hunt with the guys it's it's balls to the wall it's serious and and when i get to spend that time with her it's like it slows down back to what it used to be like you know before we got into the hunting and producing and like I, we'll still do it like we'll still take a camera and tell the story but the it doesn't feel as stressful to me like I, it's just me hunting hunting with my wife showing or something i and i enjoy to do or something i'm passionate about um and if we if we see a deer or get it kill something it's a bonus but it's just fun to spend that time uh, out in the woods with her um, she likes to hunt mainly for the reason of getting out and being just separating from her crazy um, work schedule and, and stressful situation with working in healthcare. 
and uh, so it's it's fun to just get out there and kind of unplug for a little while and and relax but nice i like it that's uh <clears throat> i agree I, I have not personally hunted with my wife too much we uh have gone out a couple times together um but she has just recently expressed an interest in turkey hunting and mm -hmm. she's she always makes comments about wanting to go deer hunting but it's hard because i'm like oh yeah you do okay cool i saw this awesome buck and uh, right now i'm focused on trying to kill him so just stay home like <laughs> you know <laughs> like i i always have some goal in deer hunting or like some hot lead that makes me not want to bring that sort of uh oh variable to the table yeah. of someone new so we actually oh go ahead no 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 go ahead we actually went on our first like out of state hunting trip together last uh, fall in october we went to kansas for a few days and she's like within the last year or so um just got more into like doing some of the filming side of stuff too so i've been every once in a while um when when she shows interest i'll sit down with her with a camera and show her some stuff you know what different settings do what and how this camera works compared to this other camera i have and we she actually filmed a wedding with me last year um her first one so she's she's taking a lot of more interest into she likes taking photos um just with cell phone or anything but she's taking a lot more interest just learning that kind of stuff so last year she actually went with me to kansas for a few days and filmed me hunting um there and she was a i give her credit she was a pretty big trooper because she, about two weeks before that she tore her acl so she was climbing in and out of stands with a torn acl the whole time and we had to uh, kind of uh, manipulate some of their stands because you know we were using foot pegs in some of them and she wasn't able to climb with putting her weight on one leg with the foot peg. She could only climb with one leg, basically. So we had to adjust a lot of the stands to use sticks. That's the only way she could get in and out of a tree. Um, but she was she was a pretty big trooper through that whole process because I know it wasn't you know it wasn't fun by any means the pain that she was going through to get in and out of those trees. But it's it's been pretty cool to see her you know taking an interest to some of the stuff I like to do, you know, obviously Dylan kind of touched on it as well. Like I'm, I'm not going to push her like I would push these guys when we're in the woods, but it just to like get her out there and like show her what, what I enjoy doing is fun. Mm 